in this tutorial, we're gonna dockerize a Next.js application with MongoDB database. It's a beginner tutorial that teaches you how to develop and deploy Next.js application with Mongo database on Docker. Let's get into it. Let's start by installing Docker desktop. Go to docker.com from product menu, select Docker desktop. In this page, download based on your operating system. For me, it's Mac. Click on download and it's going to be downloaded here. After download, double click on it and follow the installation steps. And at the end, you will have Docker application on your computer. Next step is creating an account. If you don't have any, click on create new account. You will be redirected to hop.docker.com and make sure that you have your email and password somewhere because we need it in the Docker desktop. Next step is running Docker on your computer. There we are. What we're gonna do here is to start from a Next.js application with MongoDB database. It's the repository that we're gonna use. Go to this address and from code button, click on copy URL to clipboard. Then open VS code, click on terminal, new terminal, go to your favorite folder. You can create a folder for Docker. Go to that folder, paste the command here. And at the very beginning of this command, run git clone dash b, the branch that we're gonna go to is docker dash starter then press enter it's gonna be cloned on your computer and type code press tab to select next amazon v2 folder and press enter there we are we have the project on docker starter branch what we're gonna do here is to dockerize this application it's a Next.js application with MongoDB database. It's an e-commerce website that we are going to dockerize it. First of all, we need to create Docker file in an empty space on the Explorer. Right click, new file, set file name to Docker file without any extension with capital D. In the first line, set the base image to create Next.js Docker. It's node colon 20 dash alpine. You can find it on the hub.docker.com slash underline slash node and we're gonna use this version 20-alpine. Next step is setting the working directory. It's in the app folder. Then copy package.json and package-lock.json to the working directory, the root of working directory. It's gonna be in the app folder on the base image instance. Then install npm packages based on the package.json and copy all files from local development machine, these folders, copy all of them to the other dot is pointing to the app folder in the base image in the Docker. After that, expose port number 3000 and then run npm run dev. So by exposing this port number and running this command, we can access to the Next.js application through port 3000. That's it about the Docker file to run the Next.js application. Let's go for next step and create compose.yaml. In the empty space, right click, new file, compose.yaml. What we're gonna do in this file is to use the Docker file to run the Next.js application and create another image for MongoDB database and connect Next.js app to the MongoDB instance to access to the database. Put this code in the compose.yaml. In the first line, we set the version of Docker Compose. It's version 3.8. Then define services block. Here, we are going to define all the services or images that we are going to run. The first one is web. It's going to be the Next.js application. But this surface 
depends on the MongoDB service. So before going for this one, I'm going to scroll down to find the MongoDB section and explain this part. Here we define the DB service. The name of it is Mongo. Inside that, we set the image that we are going to use as a base image from the Docker Hub. It is Mongo. If you go to the hub.docker.com and search for Mongo, you can find it right here. More than 1 billion downloads. The next line in the Mongo service is mapping the ports. We are going to expose port number 27017 for the web service, the one that we created here, to access to the database. Also, we need to set the volumes to mount for the DB service by setting Amazona folder by mapping Amazona volume to the slash data slash DB. After restarting the Docker, we're not going to lose any data because we have access to this folder on the Mongo instance through Amazona volume. At the end, define the volume Amazona. By having this, we can access to the Amazona from the web service. Let's go back to the web. As I explained, we run the MongoDB database. And in this part, we set the environment variables. In this Next.js application, we need to set the MongoDB URL from .env file. So we need to create .env file inside the root of this project. Right click, new file, set file name to .env, and then put this code there. Set MongoDB URI to MongoDB colon slash slash Mongo. It's the name of the Mongo instance slash Amazona. It's the name of database. Then set auth URL to localhost column 3000 and auth secret to something secret. If you want to enable PayPal, set the PayPal environment like this. Make sure you set the client ID and app secret based on what you get from the developer.paypal.com. After setting environment variables, it's time to define build process. Set the context to current folder. It's the directory where we have Docker file and set the Docker file to the Docker file with capital D. So we are pointing to the Docker file here. Then specify the port 3000 to expose for the web service. The first number is the port on the host machine. And the second one is the port number on the container. In the Docker file, we expose the container using this command. So we have access to that port in this block. The next step is defining the watch mode. Define develop block. Inside that, define watch block. And in the watch block, we are going to define the files that we watch for changes. And for each change, we define the action. If there is a change in the package.json, package lock.json, or next.config.json, we want to rebuild the Next.js application. But if there is a change in the app folder and subfolders of app, I mean in this folder, any changes in this file is going to be synced. So if you have any change, it's going to be applied to the Docker container. So you will see the changes instantly while developing the application. In the environment, at dollar sign before auth secret and auth URL to load the environment variables. Save the code. That's it about compose.yaml file and let's go for next step. It's defining docker ignore. You are going to ignore this file while copying file from the host machine to the container machine. In the root, right click, new file, dot, docker ignore and add seven lines, docker file, dot docker ignore, node module, readme, next and git. 
So we're not going to copying these files to the container. In this step, we need to log in to the Docker Hub. In a new terminal, run Docker login. Here, you need to enter your email address that you have logged in in Docker Hub and enter that password here. Press enter and there we are, login successful. And it's time to compose the Docker using Docker Compose app. Open a new terminal, run Docker Compose app. We have permission denied. Let's use sudo Docker Compose app. I'm using the root permission enter your password and there we are it's running commands that we have defined in the compose.yaml file first of all it's trying to download the node column 20 alpine that we have defined in the docker file after running all commands it's on npm install after running npm install it copies all file and export the image then it's time for the next step creating mongodb service here is that service after creation attaching mongodb to web and there we are here is the log the project and by running npm run dev here is the application if i command click or control click on windows and open it and go to this address localhost column 3000 slash api slash products slash seed by seeding sample data, get rid of API part and open the localhost. And there we are. We have our application running using container. Let's check development with this container. Now, if I go to, let's say, the page.txx in the app slash front folder and change, let's say, latest product to latest product one save the file it's not gonna be applied here to the latest product if i refresh the page i can see the changes to do that open your terminal split terminal and run this command docker compose watch don't forget to use sudo enter password and here is running this in watch mode wait a while to recreate and after recreate if I have a change in any file like this one, save the file, it's going to be applied. Let's test again, get rid of one, two, three, save it. Aha. Uh -huh. So here we are in watch mode. Any changes in the local development environment will be applied to the container on Docker. Great. In this tutorial, we've successfully created a Docker for Next.js application with MongoDB database. Until next lesson, bye-bye.